Solving multi-step inequalities. Hey. <laughs> math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Solve multi-step inequality. Solve like an equation. When solving an inequality, if you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the symbol. If you've watched my other inequality videos, I have gone over these thoroughly. Okay? So you should know about the symbols, but I just like to show them when the shading just one more good time for everybody in the back. All right? But we're going to get into it. Okay? So solve the inequality. Ugh. Uh, okay. What you're gonna do first is you are going to distribute, yay. Um, okay, sorry, <laughs> I got distracted for a second. So that's gonna be positive 16 minus 4x is greater than 56, right? So after I distribute now, I wanna get rid of my constant, so negative 16, negative 16, so I'm gonna do negative 4x is greater than 40. And now we to get rid of x, my last thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to divide by my coefficient. Is that coefficient negative? Did you multiply or divide by negative? On both sides. You sure did. You better. So flip that symbol, baby. x is less than negative 10. I flipped the symbol. I'm good to go. Open circle or closed circle? Left or right? Left. And look at that. You solved the multi-step inequality. Because you are smart. You is kind. You is smart. I forget what the other is. <laughs> okay. Negative 3. Parentheses. P plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 10. This is example 2 out of 10, I believe. Distribute. We got to get in there with the distribution. Okay. Um... Now that we've distributed, get rid of the constant. So add three. Oh, bird just flew by my window. Negative three P is less than or equal to negative 15. How do I get rid of the negative three in front of the P? We said divide. That's because I know you're smart. Hello? Is that number a negative? Yes, it was. When that orange number, when you divide both sides by a negative, honey, what you gonna do? Flip that symbol. P is greater than 5. Is your table open circle, closed circle, closed, left or right? Quick. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. Um, distribute. We love to see it. Negative 90 is greater than negative 5K plus 15. Uh, subtract 15 from both sides. Because get rid of that constant. Negative 105 is greater than or equal to negative 5K. How do I get K by itself? Divide by what? Is that going to be a negative on both sides? When I divide by a negative on both sides, I have to flip my symbol. So I get 21 is less than or equal to K. Okay? So now, you know, we gotta flip that. We gotta flip that symbol one more time. Okay? And ta da! You did it! Okay, uh, solve the inequality. 84 is greater than or equal to negative 7, parentheses v minus 9. <laughs> Distribute. Lots of distributing. Negative 7v plus 63. negative, I mean, 21 is greater than or equal to negative 7v. So we can divide by negative 7. Is that a negative on both sides? Yep, so that means I flip my symbol. Negative 3 is less than v. Find open circle, closed circle. Remember, v is on the other side. So we want to flip the v, flip the symbol. We're doing gymnastics right now, okay, to figure out which direction this is going to go. This is going to go to the right, okay? Because the real way that we should be expressing that inequality, well, not the real way, but 
the better way most of us like it is v is greater than or equal to negative three because that shows us exactly which direction to shade it in um, and just eliminates the confusion we're not about confusion okay um uh, let's what you gonna do first distribute the three i know you know this because you're a scholar so 6p minus 21 is greater than or equal to 21 um add two i mean add two add 21 21 uh, 6p is greater than or equal to 42 divide by 6 divide by 6 is that a negative no it is not so am i going to flip the symbol no i am not going to flip that symbol so p is greater than or equal to 7 open circle or closed circle mm -hmm. left or right right good job very good very good all right um all right we're going to distribute yes actually you should pause the video and do this by yourself that's what i think but i can't make you do nothing eight r minus eight it's the bell <laughs> for last period okay um, hopefully I finish this before the next bell rings for passing period. Anyway, so we're going to do, um, we distributed, we got 8R minus 8 is greater than or greater than 0. Now we're going to get rid of my constant by adding 8 to both sides. Um, now we're going to divide by the coefficient. Was that a negative? No. Am I going to flip my symbol? No. R is greater than 1. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Yay! We don't love us so much. Uh, okay. Solve the inequality 6x plus 2 plus 6x is less than 14. No distribution here, okay? Um, but what should I do? Think about it. Did you say combine like terms? You would be correct. 6x and 6x makes 12x plus 2 is less than 14. Now look at that. It's just a regular two-step equation. Do the two-step. Do the two-step. Okay, sorry. Um, 12x is less than 12. What you gonna do? Divide by 12. Look. Geniuses. I tell you. Geniuses! X is what? Yes. So that you did not multiply or divide by a negative, so there's no flipping of the symbol around here. And so you just decide is it open or closed circle? And left or right? Very good. All right, number nine. Oh, no, number eight. Slide 11, 12, 13, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 examples. Okay. Um, where are we at? What are you going to do? You got 9 is greater than or equal to negative 2m plus 2 minus 3. I hope you said combine like terms. Did you know what's up? Negative 2m minus 1. What are you going to do now? Did you say add 1, get rid of the constant? <laughs> yes, that is what you're going to do. Now what are you going to do? Divide by negative 2. And when you divide by a negative on both sides, what do you do? Flip your symbol! Which we did. The M is on the opposite side. We don't really like it like that, but we'll deal with it because we know that we're still going to choose open circle or closed circle. Close. And then you're going to shade which direction? Now remember, we got to flip everything around because the M is on the other side so that you can figure out which direction. And you're just gonna go to the right. Yes, we did that. Okay, 
that's what the inequality should look like if I flipped it the right way. And a squared is in, or equal to negative 5. Close circle to the right. Example 9 out of 10. What do you want to do first? Distribute. Okay, okay, okay. Negative 24, negative 36. Now what are you going to do? There's a lot of numbers going on here. Did you say combine like terms? Ugh, brilliant. Negative 24x minus 39 is greater than negative 111. Get rid of that constant. Absolutely. Now what are you going to do? Divide by coefficient? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you dividing by a negative on both sides? <gasps> what does that mean that you need to do? Flip the symbol. X is less than positive 3. Because negative divided by negative is a positive. Open circle or closed circle? Closed. Left or right? Left, because less than is less than. Le less than is left than. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Last example. <laughs> what shall we do? Distribute. Yes. 30 plus 15r plus 7 is greater than or equal to 127. What shall we do now? Combine like terms. Yes. 37 plus 15r is greater than or equal to 127. Now what? Get rid of the constant. Uh-huh. 15r is greater than 90. And? Divide by the coefficient. Was that coefficient negative? Sure wasn't. So guess what? Are you flipping the symbol? Show sure ain't. R is greater than 6. Number line? Open circle or closed circle? Last one. One for the road. Closed circle. Left or right? To the right, to the right. Doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> I tried to finish, but I'm done now, so that's good. Anyway, listen, good people. <sighs> I hope you go back through the video. See if you could do some of the examples without my help. Because watching me do it doesn't mean that you know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, tell somebody. Share. People, if you know somebody who struggles with math, or I just helped you understand it better. Tell your friends, your cousins, your second cousins, your fake cousins, your play cousins, your mamas, your aunties, your brothers, your sisters, your teachers. Hey, go check out this math channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.